Mr. Anupam, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Define disruption, what does it mean to you? Disruption is actually a very uh, often used word, but I think it's not understood as well as it should be. Uh, disruption really is more about uh, a significant business model leapfrogging type of a situation where uh, at an industry level or a sector level, a company does something that truly is very, very hyper-transformational. So a good example is, of course, Uber. Everybody talks about Uber uh, or uh, Airbnb. Leverage some of the existing pillars of that industry, but you use technology, you use a business model innovation to really create something that develops an entirely new value chain. So uh, does technology drive digital or does digital drive technology? Well, uh, I think it's kind of hand in hand. Uh, of course, you need a strong technology underpinning, but this whole digital um, revolution is not really about technology. It's about the consumer behavior changing. It's really about the consumers wanting to interact with whatever, whether it's entertainment, whether it's e-commerce, whether it's their relationships, through different means, right? Uh, in many ways, it's the millennial generation that's pushed this. Technology has been there. Internet has been there now for, you know, 25 years, right? So it's really the digital consumer that's driving this rather than technology driving it. Uh, in that context then, you know, technology has uh, uh, by and large been used to solve known problems. Right. Uh, you know, how does uh, uh, one get technology to solve unknown problems or uh, uh, cater to unmet or unknown needs? Yeah. Well, um, one of the other common terms being used today is about automation or robotic process automation. And you have all these bots hanging out there in cybersphere doing all kinds of things that human beings were doing. And so far, it's been mostly process-oriented tasks that have been replicated. But eventually, with AI and cognitive and machine learning, you will also have these robots making decisions for you. So um, I think that day is not too far when you will have intelligent, AI robots that are out there and they understand the organization, they're listening, they're reacting, and as you said, they're even aware of forthcoming challenges or threats and they're able to react proactively. So to me, again, um, that's the future I see. And okay. It might be here before we know it. Uh, what are the challenges that disruption poses from a leadership point of view? So uh, d leadership is even more critical now, but the, ch the form of leadership in a um, uh, digital um, enterprise today is shifting, uh, where it's traditionally been top down. Uh, I think uh, the uh, leadership style now is percolated downwards, and you want to have a little bit more of a federated model where decisions and st even strategic decisions can be taken at different layers because they might be more close to either the supplier or the channels or the customers or, or their operating environment. So uh, leadership plays a very, very key role for any, um, any kind of a disruptive model, of course. Um, there has to be buy-in at the top most level. But at the same time, if you don't have this sort of a uh, more perforated leadership style, uh, it won't go through the whole organization. Uh, give us one specific example of you know, uh, one leadership challenge that you might have faced at your company, perhaps. Well, we face several challenges uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, of course. but. Um, you know, uh, we're in the uh, consulting business. You know, we um, advise Fortune 1000 companies on their IT and digital transformation strategy. And uh, for us, you know, we have to constantly strive to, in many ways, cannibalize our own business because uh, the traditional way of consulting even is going away. Uh, so we have to make sure that uh, we, um, you know, while we're looking at the rear view mirror and learning lessons, we have to also look forward and plan for the next phase and, and be ahead of that next phase. So that requires a lot of leadership. Uh, and again, in our organization, we have made a, created a very flat structure. So we get, let ideas come even from uh, many of our consultants and we're able to adopt it very, very quickly because many times they're the front line seeing things that we may not see, right? So. Uh, what is the one big disruption that you see in 2016? Uh, well, I don't know if it will happen in 2016 or not, but again, uh, there is um, uh, so much convergence happening in every field today, and um, you know, especially with now um, um, robotic process automation being um, 
quite pervasive, you know, I would say we're going to start seeing these um, what I call um, uh, robotic shoppers shopping in virtual malls. So these are not physical robots. These are bots in the cybersphere that are shopping in digital malls based on your preference. So today you have to go to a website and you have to go and click and buy and, you know, produce different things. But based on your previous patterns, Amazon and others already know what you like and what you don't like, right? So that, that, that day is not far and it might happen this year. So I think that's, that's going to happen this year. All right, Mr. Anupam, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.